And you notice when you're working with dope engineers that you your, your eyes will light up and go, you did that? Oh, that's cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. is one of those rare engineers who knows the key that a song is in. He knows uh, different patterns of drums when it, you know, when it's gonna be an R&B song or a pop song or a hip hop song or a trap beat or a Bay Area beat or a LA beat, which is a very different thing that most people don't know about. And all this shit that makes it a good world for me. I've always wanted to be like a, like a behind the scenes type guy. I don't want to be the main focus. I don't feel comfortable in the spotlight like that a lot. So I originally was born in San Francisco and then I moved up to Seattle. Uh, well, really the whole Pacific Northwest. My mom and I kind of bounced around. She, yeah, she's from Detroit. So Marvin Gaye, even stuff back before that, Ella Fitzgerald, Billie Holiday, Louis Armstrong, you know. That was how I first knew how to play music, was my mom playing, like, what's that? Like, don't touch my record player, you're gonna break the needle. Um, as soon as, as soon as I got my GED, I think within a couple months, as soon as I turned 18, I got my own apartment with my friend who I was trapping with. The whole time while I was, we were just trapping at the apartment and I would be making beats all day, sitting around waiting for people to call, like a dumbass. And um, my roommate one day was just like, well, you know you can go to school for this, right? And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, like you can, they have school for beats. Like not knowing that's not actually what the school is for. It's the school for engineering. I moved across the street from the school. I left all my friends. I didn't know anybody in the Bay. I didn't know anybody at the school. I didn't have any family down there, you know? So I isolated myself and put myself in this situation so that I could go all in. And then it just worked, it, it worked. Tending to like lean towards engineers who are producers, that's why I'm, learning. I'm, I'm like, if you can't speak the language of the music, then it's hard for me to talk to you. There was this one studio at Expression called the D Command. It was a classroom, it had a booth and a Avid or a DigiDesign D Command mouse console. It's basically just a glorified giant mouse. And um, yeah, it was just a Pro Tools setup with a booth. And I was in there five, four or five days a week from 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. As long as I could be in there and still get enough sleep to like make it to class the next morning. Um, me and my roommates, the three of us, pulled together all of our hours and booked out two studios for, I think it was like two days. And this producer brought through like almost all the major acts in the Bay. Everybody except for Too Short. 40 came through, Andre Nicotina, and Mr. Fab, like all of these big name rappers at the time that were all people that I was huge fans of. You know, like this is what I grew up in high school listening to. And I locked in with Fab and I just was like, yo, if you need a studio, I need practice. So like, let's work. And we started rocking in four or five days a week for like six months before I ended my program. And as my program was coming to an end, I was just like, yo man, like we don't have to go to expressions to do this. Like I am gonna buy this really nice microphone from this company named Loudon. It's what we use at school. It's just a cheaper version of that microphone. And I've got everything at the house, like, we can just do that. Man, so this baby right here is my first professional microphone, the Clarion by Loudon. And man, yeah, this was my graduation gift to myself. Came in the original bamboo case and i don't know anything about this and yeah man i ran my studio with fab in the bay with this little baby for 2010 until 2014. i just can't say enough good things about this microphone i've done 
vocals with everybody from Currency, E40, Short, Trade the Truth, um, Guapale, uh, man, so many singers and rappers. Chief Keef. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Just good old trusty. Mr. Fab was doing a lot of songwriting in LA and I kept like missing production opportunities being in the bay at the studio and Fab would just like hop a flight to LA and I was like, oh man, like I can't just, like I don't have just like hop a flight money. Like I need to plan these trips out. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't just, I don't have that. I don't have it like that. So I was like, you know what? Screw missing these opportunities. I'm gonna move to LA. So then, Fab and Zach dip to LA. So at some point there, I don't know who went first. I think they got there, there got here before me. I actually had hit short up for a feature for this artist I worked with named YMTK. We did a song and he was we were both just like, man, I can hear I could only hear short on this. Like we and I saw I went out on a limb, I was just like short, like how much would you how much do you want for a feature? Cause I was fully prepared to like buy one from him. Cause it's like, I had, you know, I'd known him, been recording him at his house a bunch, but like, I didn't know if we were really, you know, like close or not. You know, I didn't know if, you know, it's too short. I didn't know if he knew who I was like that. And he responded to me, he just said, it's good, come by for a session. And when I did the session, I was like, yo man, this place is tight. Like if you need an engineer when it's done, let me know. And yeah, six months later, Short was like, man, you set offer still up. And I was like, yeah, like, it's good. Let me know. And so I just started coming through and, you know, it worked out. You know, to be around good people, if you find them, you know, you're lucky. Nothing will ever replace actual physical experience. You can watch videos about doing something. You can read books about it. You can talk to people who've done it. Do it. Whatever it is. Whatever it is that you are interested in or you think you want to pursue, do it. Find out how and do it. And that is how you will get to where you want to go.